Hello, today we have uh, our uh, friend from Pakistan, our uh, pigeon uh, racer. His name is Nabil Johnson. Very nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the honoring me, not to me and also to the Pakistani fans here. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. You see Raymond? Hi. Hello, Nabil. Nabil, can you tell uh, something for the viewers about you? What kind of uh, fans are you? Basically, by profession, I am a video journalist and working with the Associated Press. But as a pigeon fancier, more than 15 years, I have the pigeons. And first, I have uh, some other pigeons. Uh, but after uh, 10 years, I bought uh, good pigeons from the Belgium and Holland. And uh, I have the middle distance bird, middle to long distance, long distance and marathon birds from the Gerrit Scholweg and uh, also the some fancier in, in Holland, Seag Walda. So mostly I have the Gabby Van de Billy line and the guy, one is from the Belgium is Marnik de Neve. So I bought okay. from here and I have very good results with him. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice to hear. Pakistan is a uh, big uh, country, uh, but there are not so many um, fiction uh, ventures till now. Is that right? Yes, exactly. You are right. The history which we have uh, from the Pakistan before partition of the India and Pakistan. So there are the Mughal empires who have the good pigeons. But after the partition, uh, we have done proper hobby of uh, racing pigeons in Pakistan. And we have uh, we don't have the good relation with the India from the 1947. Even when uh, we uh, we want to race from the 506 kilometer uh, in the east. But then our neighboring country, India, started and they not allow or even we don't allow to go uh, inside the India. So we, we race from the north to south. 800,000 square kilometers and yes. more than 200,000 inhabitants. It's a very you, big and yes, very, country, uh, Pakistan. Yes, we have the big population. Even we, we have the four provinces. And... Uh, we have uh, four types of weather, autumn, spring, hot weather, yeah. and the winter. Some of our friends who lives in the Balochistan, the border area with the Afghanistan. So they okay. have the hilly areas, more mountains, and oh, yeah. they have a lot of losses, even 200 kilometers. They lost everything. Oh. Even ah. they start with the seven to 800 pigeons. On the four to 500 kilometers, they have only 10 to 15 pigeons. So these people are facing very problem due to the mountains. And these mountains are in the circle. So there they need the hard marathon pigeons. So now they are trying to uh, have some good pigeons. I live in the capital, Islamabad, and it is not as north as, uh, as we're talking to the and, and other cities. So we fly from the north to south. And uh, this year, we fly up to the 733 kilometers, our last race, which is in the Sindh province, another province, which is, uh, which is very famous in the hot weather. Yeah. What, what about the hot weather? What is the, the temperature uh, normally when the races are going on? When we start the uh, races in, in our city, the temperature is 20 to 22. But when we go to on the last race, so it comes on the 34, 33. But we have only short uh, racing season from the end of the January up to the end of the March. Because then hot weather starts and uh, people they are scared from the heart but now we are trying to educate people that uh, if you take care well of the pigeon so uh, heart does not matter no, okay no, they need uh, tough pigeons like the marathon pigeons raymond to uh, to handle this uh, this uh, high uh, temperature for my uh, pakistan uh, agent and distributor that's uh, muhammad ramsam that the last year it was the temperature so high that the road was also melting, that the, the cars could not drive. Extremely high weather. It's terrible. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. In the Sin province. Yeah. So there are temperatures is 51, 52. So you can't race in the May, June, July. So you start at the end of, of uh, January with how many kilometers and then up to? 
first our club uh, start race the 150 km 225 km then 350 450 550 and then last race 7 but in these races no gap week after week but only gap in the last race okay so yeah. so sometimes we don't uh, we did not recover our birds properly because no. here we don't have the proper medication don't have the products which we can use but main thing is because our currency is very low so it is very expensive for pakistani uh, pigeons yes okay. exactly they use, use the human uh, medicine like uh, flagell yeah. so some liver uh, products mm -hmm. but yeah. now we are trying to educate people that use the proper uh, yeah, then we have the lack of the vaccination people don't have the vaccination and mostly a, a Pakistani fancier suffers with the Newcastle, Paramixo, ND virus and Salmonella and Paratyphoid is also is all time here. And, and there we uh, are it, coming uh, in the picture to uh, Troy Pharma to help uh, you uh, to um, distribute uh, that's those uh, medicine to your uh, fellow um, picture fanciers. Yes, no thank problem. you. Thank, yeah. thank you very much. When we started the hobby, there were only four to five clubs in Pakistan. But okay. uh, people have no proper guidance. Even people have the one or two races and they said, no, finish, finish. But now we have more than 25 to 30 clubs. And okay. now sports are uh, uh, promoting in Pakistan. So now people are buying good uh, pigeons. But mostly people facing uh, the diseases. People don't have the control of diseases. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we don't have the proper transportation system, vaccination system, no laboratory even here where we can show our pigeon for the testing. Not a single, single laboratory in Pakistan who can check our bird whether it is canker, paratyphoid. Oh, no veterinarian. Yeah, this is the way. No, yes. they, they, they have not veterinarian. Sick. Not uh, for the uh, they. Pigeon, pigeon no veterinarian. Words. There no, is no, no system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We avoid any gambling and we uh, promote the good hobby. Only, only we give the prizes like this. You can see this is, this is oh. trophy. And, what, what, and tell me, there's a beautiful uh, trophy. What is it? Yeah. You have won it. You so, have won it. Yes, and last last year we have a one interprovincial race. And I won from the 533 kilometers. I was the first with the speed of 300 and maybe 86 wow. minutes per. Great. Yeah. So well, congratulations. Yes. Thank nice. you. Thank you very much. And uh, I will show uh, one of my hand. Oh, is it, is it just it, dropping from the, from, the, from the sky? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is my hand. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. This That's is good. my hand who won the first prize 530 kilometer that year he uh, she also won the second prize from the 225 kilometer and this year she won the third prize from the 450 kilometers wow so right oh, yeah, so this is very beautiful hand so this is basically from belgium fancier marnik dineb line is blixum blixum so from, from the nabellen yeah all oh, right, exactly. And I will also show you a marathon pigeon. Yeah. Why the Solvik pigeons which you <laughs> get to me. Pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Here you yes. remember this pigeon? Yes, Matador. Matador. Yes. He's from Matador. He's, he's from direct son of uh, my best breeding cock, Laika Junior. Yeah. Oh, see now a little bit in the malting time. Now yeah, malting yeah, time. yeah. Because malting started here in Pakistan. Oh yeah, yeah. So thank you very much for uh, lovely pigeons, and I hope. So we need this type of marathon pigeons, and uh, I am, I am confident with your help. One day we will play our uh, last city in the south. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the Karachi, eleven 1 yeah. hundred and fifty kilometer. Oh, okay. that's far. That's very far. Yeah, very far, and we will try our best. Yes. Yes, if you need some help, some tips and tricks from Raymond and I, then uh, we are happy to uh, inform you, to help you. Yes, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.